What's up YouTube, Capital G here. The Link Frames Pack 3 is now 100% complete. A couple of days ago, I was talking about how only 19 of the 20 cards had been revealed. When the heck were we going to get that suspected Bujin Link that everybody was talking about? And Konami said, oh yeah, we totally forgot about this card. We might as well go ahead and reveal it for you guys. This is Bujinki Awashima. This is a Link 2 monster. It's a Beast Warrior and its light attribute of course because that's just how Bujins roll your attack for this monster is 1500 attack and your link points are up towards your opponent and then also uh, bottom right now the materials of this card are really really like easy for Bujins and basically any Zexal archetype that's at C base the link materials are two monsters that have the same level so essentially this is just like at C summoning if you got two level fours two level threes on the field you can just summon this it's the same exact process as an exceed summon would be your first and second effects are both hard once per turns and this card cannot be used as link material first effect if this card is link summon you can special summon two monsters with the same level one from your hand and one from your graveyard also their effects are negated and if you do immediately after this effect resolves exceed summon one exceed monster using only those monsters as material second effect if an exceed monster or monsters this card points to activate an effect or effects by detaching an XC material, you can target one spell or trap your opponent controls, destroy it. Okay, so much like the Bujin archetype, this is not a very complicated card, but I absolutely love this card for the Bujin archetype, and I think this is a really, really solid card. I think one of the biggest problems that people had with Master Rule 4, especially when you're looking at synchro and XC based archetypes, was people would say, Well, even if I make a link monster and I get the to open up those extra monster zones what resources am i going to have left to go into my core mechanic my synchro summons my xc summons i'm not going to have any resources left because i put them all into those link monsters and i kind of feel like this is a card that addresses that problem this card summoning conditions is the same as an xc monster so if bujins want to summon this card it's the same as if they would have gone into sasono Wu in the first place but this card kind of pays you back it pays you back about half of what you put in because you are going to be able to get one of those monsters from your graveyard for free it lets you exceed some in with pretty much half the cost paid and i think that that's a really smart and efficient way for konami kind of to tackle link monsters for these exceed and synchro archetypes i just really like that type of effect especially for like bujins where the exceeds are really the whole effing show you don't really see bujin players win many duels without going into sasono so this card definitely helps you go into your exceed monsters relatively easily now you you do have a second effect on this card which is kind of uh, another way of making it worth going through the trouble of making this card to begin with and that's just a very simple mst pop effect which is obviously going to be strong in a deck like bujins bujins don't have that much spell and trap removal it's all pretty much built into a couple of very specific monsters in the archetype that now you might not even have to run anymore if i'm not mistaken uh the spell and trap removal bujin monster is either targeted set or face up card so this covers both of them and i think that that obviously can be very valuable if you're going second can't use it if you're going first so that is a little bit of a downside but overall i think that that effect is very useful i think this card is fantastic for bujins i think it lets them exceed summon very easily i think the spell and trap removal effect is also pretty solid and if i'm a gear Gia player i'm looking at this card like well we don't really have a link monster this can help us go second a little easier we already want to make gear Gigant x anyways i'm definitely you know sliding a copy of this in my extra deck anyways whatever you guys think of bujinki uh awashima leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos